Alright, so now that we have that covered, we're going to go now and configure our email. So to configure your email, you go over to network and you go to advanced settings. And right there on advanced settings, you're going to see the information you need to put in. Alright, so what I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in the sender. Now the sender is going to be this NVR and how it's going to pop up I will probably try to demonstrate all right but it's uh you can see an example of how this actually works in my hacking CCTV and how the whole setup works actually that's a perfectly I'll, I'll put a link to that video where you can see this in action in the effect that when somebody makes tries to attempt to log in they use the wrong password it triggers an event all right, that's uh, when you call what, what you call um, configuring the exceptions. We're going to configure some exceptions shortly, so you're going to see how to set that up. All right, and that video, Hacking CCTV, is going to show you how it works in action, actually actionable, how it's going down. So you could just put sender, you could just put, um, let's see, let's just put a... I'll make that I to be. <laughs> All right. All right. And send this address. We're going to put All right. And for the SMT, so because we're using the fixing PC, sorry, at gmail.com. Because we're using Gmail, we're going to have to put the uh, SMTP server p dot gmail dot com, and that's Google's SMTP server information. The port is um, four six five. You can go to Google's site and get this information. So it's four six five, and there's another port um, five eight seven that doesn't use SSL. But what I've found is that sometimes you put in 465 SSL and that doesn't work and then you put in 587 no SSL and that works or you put in 587 with SSL and that works. So you kind of have to futz around with the settings until something works. So you can also attach an image, you know, interval for two seconds. I don't usually attach any images, you know, but you can if you want to. Now authentication, if you're going to use this email, and it has a username and password, I suggest you use the authentication. And the authentication username is going to be the email. Right, and password. Go oh, and put it again. Nice, and you're going to set up a receiver after somebody's going to get it. So you can put receivers, uh, manager, and you put the receiver's address. Now for testing, we're just going to use the same address. Alright, and now we're going to test it. There we go. Test. Will it fail? Will it succeed? You'll soon find out. Now, usually when it takes this long, it fails here. Yeah. So if that happens, you make adjustments to your settings. So what we'll do, we're going to change this to 587. We're going to test again. And it's taking its time, so it's probably going to fail. Oh, no, it succeeded. See what I'm saying? You just fought around till one works. So shortly, I should get an email on my phone saying that it is a test of the uh, yep and it says test message from fixwing PC and then at the top it says fixwing PC and VR now I will probably try to add a screenshot of what it says 
right? I'll probably add a screenshot of what it says into the video after editing. Make sure I get that. All right. Yes. Yeah, so what it says, it gives me the name. All right. So from fixing PC. So like it's like you put in a name and then you have an email address. So the sender. Get that off. All right. So the sender. This is what comes in the email, and obviously the email address is there. And this here is just so you can keep track of who you're sending it to. You can send up send this up to three persons so you can notify three persons for any condition that you're going to set in the exceptions all right so the next thing we're going to do see now that we have successfully configured our email and it works next thing we're going to do is set up our exceptions so we